Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Rizal Kristianto And I'm from the Islamic State University of Wali Songo, Semarang This is my physics project video In this physics project, the tools and material that I use are Spring, hook, a rope, and two masses Okay, this is my system In this system, we have mass M1 connected to a spring and mass M2 connected to a rope, which is also connected to mass M1. And how does the system move? When mass M1 is pulled, the spring will stretch. And when it is released, mass M1 will move to the left, causing movement in mass M2 as well. In this system, there are four constraints. Two constraints on the movement of mass 1 and two constraints on the movement of mass 2. So the total of constraints are four. Then the degree of freedom in the system are two. We can observe that when mass 1 moves, the general coordinate is x. And when mass 2 moves, the general coordinate is theta. Therefore, the degree of freedom in the system is 2. Otherwise, we can use the following equation to determine the degree of freedom. TOF equal to 3n minus c, where n represents the number of mass and c represents the number of constraints. Thus, we obtain the value of EOF equal to 2. The equations of the motion of the system For mass M or M2, x1 equal to x plus L sin theta y1 equal to minus L cos theta So, we can calculate the kinetic energy T the kinetic energy for mass m tm equal to one half m times x dot plus y dot the x dot and y dot is derivative from x and y so tm equal to one half m times x dot plus l theta dot cos theta square plus minus l theta dot sin theta square tm equal to one half m x dot square plus l square theta dot square cos square theta plus two x dot l theta dot cos theta plus l square theta dot square sin square theta so tm equal to one half m x dot square plus one half m l square theta dot square times cos square theta plus sin square theta plus m l x dot theta dot cos theta. We know that cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to one, so we can rewrite tm equal to one half m x dot square plus one half m l square theta dot square plus m l x dot theta dot cos theta then the potential energy for mass m vm equal to m g y1 equal to minus m g l cos theta then for mass m or m1 tm equal to one half mx dot square and vm equal to one half kx square the kinetic energy total in the system t total equal to one half times m plus m times x dot square plus one half m l square theta dot square plus m l x dot theta dot cos theta the potential energy total in the system v total equal to one half kx square 
minus 2 m g l cos theta. The Lagrangian l equal to kinetic energy minus potential energy. l equal to one half times m plus m times x dot square plus one half m l square theta dot square plus m l x dot theta dot cos theta minus one half k x square plus m g l cos theta. Euler Lagrangian equations derivative time of partial l partial y dot minus partial l partial y equal to zero. For x derivative time of partial l over partial x dot minus partial l partial x equal to zero. Then derivative time of m plus m times x dot plus m l cos theta theta dot plus k x equal to zero and then m plus m times x double dot plus m l cos theta theta double dot minus m l sin theta theta dot square plus k x equal to zero for theta derivative time of partial L over partial theta dot minus partial L partial theta equal to zero derivative time of M L square theta dot plus M L cos theta X dot plus M L sin theta X dot theta dot plus M G L sin theta equal to zero then M L square theta double dot plus m l cos theta x double dot minus m l sin theta dot x dot plus m l sin theta x dot theta dot plus m g l sin theta equal to zero and then m l square theta double dot plus m l cos theta x double dot plus m g l sin theta equal to zero